Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manta and in today's video, we're going to be making a quick oven baked salmon using garlic, herbs, and butter. This dish is so simple, so quick, under 15 minutes, and you can enjoy this with any side of your choice. I decided to pair mine with some steamed broccoli and some couscous. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into today's video. Alright friends, so we're going to start off by making a simple marinade for our salmon. So I am using here some melted butter at room temperature. I would have all the ingredients listed in the description box below. Now you know we're working with fish, so fish needs a lot of citrus. So I am adding some freshly squeezed lemon juice, just half of that. And as I go, I like to taste my uh, marinade and see if I need more, but I'm using half for now. And to that, I am using my freshly chopped thyme. I just got this, and I'm also adding some freshly chopped rosemary. Now, if you don't have this, um, the fresh ones, you can use the dry ones if that's what you got. And into that, I am also going to be adding a generous amount of garlic powder and also some paprika to it. Now, here I have some crushed bouillon. You can decide to use salt if that's what you have. And I'm also going to be grinding some um, black peppercorns. I like the fresh taste that the peppercorns bring as opposed to, you know, the already grounded black pepper. But if that's what you have in your pantry, go ahead and use that again. Use your spices to your own preference. I mean, I like that kick, especially in my seafood, because I don't like to taste that, you know, that fishiness in it. So, yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and add my favorite sauce, which is some Worcestershire sauce. This adds in a little hint of sweetness, but not you're not really going to taste the sweetness, but it's just perfect for marinades. You guys must have seen me use um, Worcestershire sauce in a lot of my marinades. On this channel I get mine from Aldi it's cheap you a little goes a long way and let me tell you it's super super delicious so you go ahead and stir that up I like to taste as I go and I just decided to adjust um, my marinade to make it my preference so go ahead and make it yours this is what makes cooking so much fun and to the start of the show here is my salmon i already cleaned it it has the skin on you can buy the filet without the skin i don't mind the skin on it so this is 2.7 pounds of um, salmon with the skin on. I am going in with a paper towel to pat these dry just to make sure that I don't have any excess liquid on it. So now it's time to go ahead with a marinade that we just prepared and just pour it generously over it. Now I did want to mention that for uh, my friends out there who do not um, like to use butter or who are probably watching those calories, you go ahead and use some olive oil you can use the light olive oil or the extra virgin olive oil it would work perfectly in this recipe you don't just have to use butter i like to always give um alternatives to anybody out there because i know we all on a different type of diet so i'm just go ahead and massage this beautiful pieces of a salmon with this um with the marinade that we made and also don't forget to flip it on the side and also rub in the marinade into it so here it is yo this just smells so good so i'm gonna go ahead now and cover it up with um with plastic foil and put it in the refrigerator now i am just marinating this for 30 minutes while i get on with the rest of my business now salmon is already very tasty so you can cook this right away so while we're waiting on that we do have a today's sponsors with shaker and spoon Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription service that delivers carefully handcrafted recipes from world-class bartenders right to your doorstep. I opted for the summer scotch and the box came with so much ingredients so you get all your syrups, your bitters, your aromatics, and your garnishes. All you need to do is pick a favorite liquor of your choice 
and go ahead and mix your drinks now you have three recipes in each box and each recipe can make four drinks so that's a total of 12 drinks out of one box and all you need is that single box um the single bottle of scotch whiskey or whatever you are using this one right here was really good the como la mujer and also pretty and popping those two were my favorites right there and you all know i'm all about simple recipes and this even for me as a novice was really simple to put together so go ahead and grab your favorite box use my code mansa and the link in the description box to get 20 dollars of your first shaker and spoon box and back to our recipe in the meantime i am gonna quickly steam up some broccoli now this is hot boiling water i'm gonna add some salt to it because i don't like my broccoli bland at all so i have already washed them thoroughly i love to wash my veggies because broccoli can tend to hold so much dirt in it so once i put it in there you guys i don't leave it in there for more than one minute in the hot boiling water we're just trying to get this to be a little soft i don't like mushy vegetables especially broccoli it, it it just doesn't taste good to me so i am just gonna leave it in there for about one minute just stirring it and then after that i am cutting it off and strain it because you need to get it out of that water because if you leave it in there it would keep cooking and once you get it out, it would just be too mushy. So that's what I like to do. This is how I prefer my veggies. So if you like more crunching it, don't even let it sit that long. Just take it in, put it out, and you are good to go because that heat will continue cooking it. So we're going to put that on the side. And now this is 30 minutes later. I am going ahead to line up my um, marinated salmon on my baking sheet and now i am going to top it off with some sliced lemons i just love to do this and that leftover marinade i had i'm going to drizzle it all over the fish we are not wasting one ounce of deliciousness over here i have already preheated my oven to 375 degrees fahrenheit and i'm gonna pop it in for 12 to 15 minutes now you don't need more than 15 minutes because my salmon was not even that thick so that will be perfect for me if you have thicker cuts make sure that you're checking for doneness but you do not want to overcook it so here is my fish straight out of the oven and y'all look at that oh it is so perfect and let me tell you falls apart melts in your mouth not dry it was still really juicy and just mm, delicious and by the way, if this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Mansa, and on this channel, I like to show quick, easy, and delicious recipes just like this. And I also love to bake and just keeping it simple, y'all. So if you like that, please go ahead and join the squad by subscribing. And now it is time to dish out our dinner. And right here, I paired it with this delicious couscous veggie salad, which I already have a video. I would link it in the description box. It is simple and easy. It is a great substitute for rice. It is made out of wheat, and I love it so, so much. We paired it with the couscous salad um, and also the steamed broccoli. They're not overcooked. It's just the perfect um, consistency and texture for me. The fish was flaky melts in your mouth and also very juicy this dinner this recipe is very light on the tummy which is just what i like it's light on the stomach it is easy to digest it is perfect for dinner even if you're eating late i try i'm just trying to eat better you know and just watching my carb intake so this was perfect for me if you know anybody that would love to see this recipe go ahead and share it with them and as you can see my fish is still really tender nice and juicy i love it and i know you guys will like it go ahead and give this recipe a try if you would like to show me a picture or something you can tag me on facebook or instagram and i'll be happy to repost it on my stories thank you guys so much for watching and until i catch you in my next one y'all stay safe i love you all bye